great time, you know, singing music and learning to understand, you know, what it means to live near the equator or actually on the freaking equator, or in a place called Providence, where the temperature was a steady and constant 85 degrees or above with about 70% humidity. Mm -hmm. It was the first place that we encountered a washer and a dryer. We gathered all of our clothes and we gave them to the laundry woman, eagerly expecting our stinky, filthy, wet clothes to be sparkling clean. And she returned them to us, sparkling clean in 70 degrees, 70 percent humidity. They were still damp, those clothes. So even though we put them out, we're still walking around wet. And these guys were like, what do you want to do tomorrow? I'm like, I don't know what I want to do. They go, we want to go on a boat and ride way over there with all those boat tours. And I said, I'm not going. And they went, fine, stay here. And I was like, okay, I'll go. And we got in the boat. And first we thought, there was just eight of us. There was 15 of us. Then there was 20 of us. Then there was like 25 people in this freaking boat. And I was like, we're going to die. Not a big it, was, boat. it wasn't a big boat. And we move out, it's like a little motorboat to the middle of the water. And we look at each other and we say, hey, well, there was a couple of people that had heard us the night before. There was, there was another boat, and the people in the other boat said, hey, it's come Sunday, it's the guys from the band, it's the band, the band, the band, the band. They said it in Spanish. It's the band, boss. It's the band. The group of the music. Right. So uh, they were like, oh, sing us a song, sing us a song. So this song will remain in my mind, my heart forever, because the water was crystal clear, could see all the way to the bottom, and there was like four other boats around us in the water, and we broke into the song that we're about to do for you now, acapella. I hope that you enjoy it.
Guarantee you there'll be no memorization there. Improvisation, yes. 